my god. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue tackling how to find percentages of numbers. In this case, we are working with percentages lower than 1%. So let's begin. Let's try tackling this problem. So today's problem is actually how to find the 0.42% of a big number like 1200. We can use, as we have seen in previous videos, two methods. We can either use the percentage formula or we can also use the rule of three. Let's try using the percentage formula first. So remember guys, when they are asking us to find the percentage of a number, so the 0.42% of 1,200, we know that they are asking us to find the part. So the part is going to be equal to the percentage multiplied by the whole or the total number. So the percentage, again, is 0.42%, and the whole is going to be 1,200. Now, people, you have to be very, very careful. Whenever we're given percentages, we have to remember that in order to transform that to a number, we have to divide by 100, and then we can multiply by 1,200. So here, we can do two things. We can either first divide and then multiply, or we can multiply and then divide. It doesn't really matter. So let's try multiplying 0 0.42 times 1,200, and that is going to give us an answer of 504, and then the two denominators, which is 101, multiplied. So 504 divided by 100 is 5,04. So that means that the 0 0.42% of 1,200 is just 5.04. What about using the rule of three? So whenever we're using the rule of three, guys, we can think of the percentages and the amounts. Right? So we know that the 100% is going to be the whole number, 1,200. But we're being asked, what is the 0.42%? And we don't actually know that. We're going to find that out. So again, we can cross multiply. So 100% times x is going to be equal to 0.42% multiplied by 1,200. So remember, 100% is the same as 1 multiplied by x is going to be equal to 0.42%, which is 0.42 divided by 100 times 1,200. And then we can simplify the two zeros with these two zeros. So the answer is going to be the same as 0.42 multiplied by 12, which is the same as 5,04. And there you have it, guys. It's the very same answer using either the rule of three or the percentage formula. Just be aware that the percentages have to be divided by 100. Just practice and you can, too, find the solutions of problems for percentages lower than 1% as we did today. So, guys, practice and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!